guys oh welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel it's your girl mia and today i'm going to be doing a cooking video i don't know how well it's going to turn out because this is like the first one i've done it would be way easier if i had an island but i don't so we're just gonna you know make shit with that i look crazy um i slept over at someone's house last night and then i went out with my friend right after and then I literally fell asleep basically as soon as I got home for a while so I am exhausted but I just want to cook I was going to film myself um, making buffalo chicken dip high but right now is not the time to be smoking weed so we're gonna wait a little bit to smoke weed and make it i did get the rotisserie chicken today so i'm probably gonna have to do it tomorrow but we'll see we'll freaking see um but yeah let me let my dogs in and then we're gonna get a really cute clip from five you know from target on black friday it was, this was like the only thing i got plus another clip and this one was like five dollars the other one was like two dollars um and then I got a car charger because I need that. So we got our hair up. We're looking cute. No, we're not. But I am making Alfredo homemade lasagna with eggplant and zucchini and roasted tomatoes. I've made this before. I think it was one of my best dishes I've ever made. And everyone slid up on my story and thought that I was at a restaurant, but no. I cooked it, I made it. So I've just low key been feeling like shit recently and then today I'm just exhausted and a little stressed. So we're gonna make some feel good food. I really don't want it because my stomach is hurting a little bit and I eat garlic parm wings. So my stomach's bubbling up in there. But you know, I need a little bit and then heat some up tomorrow because I do babysit my nieces tomorrow and I'm there all day. So, I'll have lunch. And I think my mom will be very happy about me making this. Hopefully tomorrow we can make the buffalo chicken dip though. Because I really want to do it. If not, I guess I'm just going to make buffalo chicken dip another day high. Because I'm not trying to waste her rotisserie chicken. She'll be very upset. But yeah i'm so excited to um show you guys along with me um i'm not going to show every step by step just because it will be a very long video and two you guys don't want to see that three it's going to be very hard for me to do it because i don't have someone to film for me so i got these great tomatoes i have two of them i'm going to wash them and i'll show you what i'm gonna wash them with I use some warm water and this veggie stuff fruit and veggie stuff and i'm gonna just sprinkle some on um like shift it up in there um so i'm gonna wash these and then i'm gonna start cutting the zucchini eggplant and then i'll show you what i'm gonna season it with after that and then i'll come back to you guys yeah. all the veggies the zucchini eggplant and tomatoes i didn't put that much eggplant because it didn't look that good so now I'm just going to use the Trader Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You can use any olive oil. And I'm dumping a whole lot because I'm going to put these in the air fryer. So if you have a lot of oil, it's better. And they get crispier and stuff like that. Because if they're dry, it's not going to be as good. And the seasoning will stick. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry if I like seem like annoyed or whatever i'm just like literally exhausted so now i'm gonna add some salt just a little bit because you know we don't want it salty and the water's already salty then we're gonna use um adobo all-purpose seasoning if i can get it open just sprinkle all on there make sure it's coated because you know this is only the top layer then you gotta mix it make sure it's good then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, a whole lot of that. We love, like, it's going to be mostly Italian seasoning on these veggies. 
Then, because I don't have garlic powder right now or onion powder, we're just gonna use our garlic and herb thing. Only a little bit. Okay, about that much. Told you, we're not gonna use a lot. This is how it should look. And then we're gonna mix it. Just don't want it. I just don't want it on my shirt, you know. And don't worry if it's not like fully all over every single one because you know we still have to make the Alfredo sauce, and that's gonna have seasoning, so everything will come out fine. This just looks good just together. This, this stuff. Okay, so this is what it should look like. I already started the wild the water. It's in a huge pot, so once the water starts boiling. That's what I'm going to start the Alfredo mix. So right now, I'm just going to put these in the air fryer. And they're probably going to cook for about 12 minutes on 400. I always cook everything on 400 most of the time. That's just what I do. I am not a professional cook, so these things can be wrong. But my food turns out good. I've never had any complaints. So, you know, you live in your land. So I'm going to pop this in the air fryer. Then I'll catch back when I'm making the Alfredo sauce and what I put in, what you should do, all that type of stuff. The ingredients of the Alfredo, you need some heavy whipping cream, some butter. I use organic. This is the only butter I use. Um, I use some mozzarella and I use some parm, Dijon, and then I use some cream cheese. I use some garlic, minced garlic. Then for like seasoning, I'm gonna use some adobo, some salt, some of the garlic stuff, some Italian. I actually might not use this. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use regular salt and pepper. Look how cute these are. They're marble. So yeah, and then we're gonna melt the butter and then we're gonna melt this and the cream cheese and then we're gonna start adding the heavy whipped cream in. I don't have my pan on yet. I have it off just for me to add everything first. Cause that's what I like to do. I'm still waiting for the water to boil, but I'm just not gonna turn it on until it is boiled. So I'm gonna use like one of these for the garlic. So I feel like that's it. Uh, I'm gonna use one and then a half of one of these because we're not using no voice tonight, so we can have all the garlic we want. Um, I'm only using a little bit of this because I need some for buffalo chicken dip, but I got two packs for that reason. I already preheated the oven as well. I have my veggies cooking. like one ounce of the cream cheese so I'm just squeezing it in at the one ounce I don't know normally what offer it has if it's mozzarella or parm but I use both I don't know I like how my alfredo tastes and I don't like alfredo um, liquidy I don't like it soft either but I I had all the cheeses basically. Okay. So we're gonna add that and then I will come back once I have it like almost done, when it's bubbling, I'll just show you. Um, so yeah, all we have right now in the pan is cream cheese, butter, and the minced garlic. And then once that like starts melting, then we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna add the cheese, and then when it's almost done, then that's when I add my seasonings and mix it, just so it's easier. I like everything to be easy for me. I don't know, that's my thing. So I have the Alfredo sauce done with the veggies, and then I have the pan right here. And I think I'm gonna spray it. I don't know if I did last night, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of oil. 
the sauce is bubbling right now. It's looking so nice and good. It really looks so good. Look at it. It smells really good too. So we're about to add a layer of that on the bottom and then we're gonna layer the noodles and then just keep layering until it's done. And then make sure you have a lot of sauce on the top and then we're gonna add some cheese on top so it's baked. So I will show you the after product. So just one layer of sauce, noodles on top, then layer the sauce, then the noodles, and then a whole lot of sauce on top with cheese. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes, 35 minutes, and then 10 minutes without the foil 